And I knew that they were gonna close one down in another state somewhere. And we already knew that ahead of time. But they never told us anything about closing our location down. So we just up in there, don't know what's going on. And I'm gonna tell y'all, these companies are not loyal to you. You know why they didn't tell us? I'm gonna tell you why they didn't tell us. If you went through that same situation, I'm gonna tell you why they didn't tell you. They didn't tell you because they don't want you to start looking for something else before they ready to let you go. They want you to stay until they can pull out every little penny that you can help them make up until that last minute, and then they'll tell you, and then you, you out of a job. But they done got all the revenue they can with your help. are never going to be as loyal to you as you are to them. Now, I am not knocking you if you're working a 9 to 5. I wouldn't dare knock you if you're working a 9 to 5 because I've worked plenty of jobs in my lifetime. But I also know that they are not going to have your back like you have theirs. Or shall I say, like they make you have theirs. You don't really have a choice in this matter. You're going to do whatever they tell you to do. You're going to get to work when they tell you to get to work. You're going to take on all the extra work that they tell you to take on. Or you can take a hike. But when I say that they are not loyal to you, that means that there could be possibly a time when you may find yourself in a situation, let's say for instance, unemployed immediately and didn't even know what was coming because they didn't tell you. And I'm gonna give you a prime example of what I mean by that. I worked a job when I was living in Houston, Texas, and it was on the second shift. You know if you go through a toll and you get a ticket, and when the ticket comes to your house and it shows the back of your car, and you lean out the window like this, chilling on your way through, or you're on a motorcycle and you got your hand behind the back, trying to hide the license plate in the back, but we still got you, that's me, that's me. I was the person who was sitting behind the screen, going through all of the information, trying to see if I could figure out exactly what that license plate say, so you can get your ticket. Okay, don't nobody, don't nobody try to hurt me now. Okay, it was just a job. But anyway, it was on the second shift. I went every day faithfully. I had that job at least a year. I really enjoyed that job. I enjoyed my coworkers and everything about it. One day, I get to work, and I see all these people outside in the parking lot. And I'm like, what's going on and why are these people out here? You know, cause normally when I get to work, if someone else is there for my shift, first thing they're gonna do is, as soon as they get out of the car, they're gonna head into the building. They're not gonna be outside hanging around in the parking lot. But on this particular day, I get to work and everybody's outside in the parking lot. So I roll up, park my car, I get out, I'm like, What's up? Why y'all out here and y'all ain't got y'all butts on the inside getting ready to send these tickets out? Girl, you ain't gonna believe what happened. Now, you know, first in my mind, the last thing I was thinking of was that I no longer had a job. <laughs> I'm thinking something happened to somebody that I know who I work with. So I'm like, what? What happened? And they're like, girl, they done shut our shift down. I'm like, what? They gonna shut our shift down. Get on up out of here. Who told you that? Where you get that from? <laughs> and they looking at me like, girl, don't you see everybody standing outside? They done shut our shift down. I said, how was that possible? And they didn't tell us. So they ain't gotta tell you. <laughs> apparently you don't see. We all outside. You don't see. They ain't apparently have to tell us nothing. They just decided they was gonna close our shift down. We didn't get a warning. Not one warning. Not an email, not a nothing. They just closed our shift down and decided they were only gonna keep the day shift and the weekend shift. The evening shift was no longer needed, but now we were needed. It's just that the budget couldn't handle all these people working in there. So since the night shift didn't have but a certain amount of people there and the day shift was overloaded with people, they just decided they would make a choice and cut us. Now what kind of loyalty is that? I'm going to work every single day. I never miss a day. I did my part. I didn't whine about nothing. I didn't do any of those things. How you just gonna shut us down and treat us like, you know, uh, the help? Mm. Because we was. 
We was the hell. Some of you guys put too much faith in your jobs. And you're just under the impression that that job is going to always be there. You like your job. You love everything that they have going on. You like the pizzas on Friday. You like the donuts that they leave out on the desk during the week for you to eat up and sit at the desk all day, every day, working you to death while you put on 20 pounds in a month. Y'all like all that stuff. You like the insurance, of course. But you can get insurance without working a job. You like the, the retirement plan, the 401k. Come on now. But, you know, a lot of people like that type of stuff. If you enjoy those things, that's okay. But you can get those things on your own. Once again, I'm not knocking you if you work for a 9 to 5 because if push come to shove and I have to retreat back to such, I will. <laughs> but only with a half a foot in because the other half of the foot and the other whole foot is going to be on the outside because I'm going to be always coming up with a way to get my ass out of there. Because they are not loyal to you. So from that job, fast forward, I worked a job. And because that happened, I started being very weary of jobs when I started working there. I know exactly what's going on and how it's going on and who's doing it. But this particular job, I loved it. I had my own office space and I was sitting there and one particular time, these people started coming through the building. Now, normally we always get a lot of visitors, right? So these visitors will show up. You guys don't work places, and all of a sudden you'll see people popping off in there, and they got their little clipboards and their pens, and, you know, they all got, you know, the women with the little skirts and nice shoes and dresses, and they walking around. You're like, who are these people? Look? Who are these people here? Who that is, Harpo? <laughs> yeah, we had those people popping up through our job. So I'm familiar with that. But this time, instead of them walking past, looking over in the office at me and like, and I'm like, <laughs> no, nah, it wasn't none of that. They was walking by doing this. And I'm like, what's up in the roof? What do you see in the roof? I seen people touching the wall. They was doing all different type of stuff. I said, mm, mm-mm, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. What's happening right now that we haven't been made aware of? So I decided to skip my little happy self, you know, out of my office. I went back all the way up into the front of the building where the little cubicle areas is, right? now. somebody sitting up there who you know, never missed nothing. So I said, do you know why these people are here? And he's like, nah, I don't have no idea. I said, are they finna sell this building? Oh, are they finna close us down or something? And he's like, no, I doubt that. I doubt that. But now let's rewind. Just COVID hit. We were out of work for about a couple of weeks. And then we went back to work. And when we got back, workload wasn't the way it was. Okay. So it was way chill after COVID. And I knew that they were going to close one down in another state somewhere. And we already knew that ahead of time. But they never told us anything about closing our location down. So we just up in there, don't know what's going on. And I'm gonna tell y'all, these companies are not loyal to you. You know why they didn't tell us? I'm gonna tell you why they didn't tell us. If you went through that same situation, I'm gonna tell you why they didn't tell you. They didn't tell you because they don't want you to start looking for something else before they ready to let you go. They want you to stay until they can pull out every little penny that you can help them make up until that last minute. And then they'll tell you, and then you you out of a job. But they done got all the revenue they can with your help. See, that's, that you, see, that right there makes no sense. Give a person time, especially today in today's time. And what we got going on. And what we no longer call inflation, at least I don't. I don't no longer call it inflation. Why? Because clearly it ain't going away. So when you live in a situation like that, you ought to, you would think that it would be the principle of it all, you know, at least, at least, because I'm, I'm pretty sure they're not obligated to have to tell you nothing, but at least have some sort of feelings toward your workers to at least say, heads up guys, we have some things going on. The money has not been coming in much since COVID. We're going to see about trying to shut this down probably within the next month or so. Just want to let you guys know. So those of you who have been working here and you know you want to have an opportunity to claim a package, you can claim a package. Or those of you who probably want to try to see if you can move somewhere and actually even work in another location, you'll have an option to do that. Whatever you want to do and we can discuss those things with you at a later date and time. We just want to let you guys know that things are just not working out. 
I was sorry to have to tell you and inform you of this situation, but you know, hey, it is what it is. It was really nice working with you guys. I really enjoyed having you guys here, and I wish you the best on your future endeavors. At least say something. Why would you just not say nothing? So anyway, I'm watching these people. And I knew what was going on. I already was having an issue with them from the start because when we came back from COVID, well, they cut me down a few little hours a week. And once things picked back up, they would give me, you know, my money back. So I was like, oh, I was okay with that because I knew that work was kind of low at that moment. And of course, if work is low, you know, that's what it's better than them telling you, well, we don't have no work, you can go home. But one day, I was talking to a coworker and she says, she got her pay. And the reason why I asked her in the first place was because we were all cut short a little bit. And when I would see her, she would already be heading out even before I was. So my hours were cut short too. So when I'm getting ready to go home and head out, when I come out from the back, I would still see her head over top of her cubicle. And I'm like, what is she doing here? I know she ain't pulling her all the time. So I'm too busy trying to get out the door. So I ain't thinking much of it. Time passed and then one day I just up and asked her. Why are you still here? And she was like, oh, I got my hours back. I'm like, what? They ain't give me mine's back. Oh, uh-uh. We finna have to go and have a discussion about this. So I rose off up in there and I'm like, hey, it's time for you to give me my hours back. Uh-uh. People got their hours back. And if they got their hours back, I need to be getting my hours back too. Now, this is when I knew for a fact that things were about to pop off in this job. And we're talking about people who I talk to every day. And what I'm talking about, how you try to be friends with your managers and your bosses and your CEOs and all that. Yeah, we were good friends. She would bring me things, bring me food, bring me stuff she's bought, brand new stuff that you know I would not dare pay for. So I was expecting her to at least give me, if nobody, a quiet shush shush heads up. Hmm, okay. Well, apparently, we weren't that close. So I roll up in there and ask her, you know, uh, uh, when are you guys planning on giving me my money back? <laughs> Cause I need all my money. And she's like, uh, well, I'm gonna discuss it with him as soon as we, cause you know, I ain't trying to call no names. Well, I'm gonna discuss it with him and then I'll get back with you uh, probably within the next day or so. We, we, we gonna get it worked out, we gonna get it worked out, we gonna get it worked out. Cause everybody hadn't started getting their money back yet. But you know, we, we gonna put you guys back on your, on your right level. I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> the next week passed. <laughs> and she seemed like she was avoiding. Now, this is one who was always in my office, always up in there, but now she appeared to be avoiding. Okay, so now we're avoiding folks. All right, so I said, you know what? The next time I see, and before I can say it good, here come another set of people coming through the door. I said, you know what? <laughs> they, they finna close this place down. I think they are gonna sell this place. And you know what? You learned your lesson from the last time that happened. You better start answering some of these calls. Because you know, you guys done had it when you work a job and every other day you got you got somebody calling your phone and offering you a position somewhere and all this stuff. I seen you on Career Builder. I seen your profile on LinkedIn. And, and, and I'm always saying, I ain't looking for a job. <laughs> I ain't looking for a job. Thank you for calling. I said, from now on, I need to make sure I'm responding to these jobs. Because, you know, COVID had, was just here and was still here. And a lot of companies were allowing you to work from home hence which is what how I end up at the job I was before I start doing what I'm doing now hmm. I said the next one call me I'm gonna make sure that the pay is right and it's something that I wouldn't mind doing and I'm gonna take that because I am NOT about to end up with no job and I told my friends I said let me tell you something y'all better start looking for something cuz I'm telling you I feel it down in my soul they are about to close this place they ain't gave me my money back they would normally, if I go mention it, she would be like, oh, I was intended to, you know, it'd be on next check. None of that. I knew something was going to happen. Long story short, I get to the crib. I went on ahead and took the job. I got a job offer, okay? So I went on ahead and took that job and came on up out of there. I, I, I got the door quick. You are not going to catch me up. And I told them. I told them, and I felt so bad. For you imagine now, you got people who work at these companies who've been there for years and years. There are guys and stuff who's been working there and working there for 18, 20 years, okay? And they've been underpaid. They've been underpaid because they work the warehouse. They've been underpaid. 
and they never ever complain. You know that that be them old generations. You know they don't they don't complain. They just come to work. They oh well, huh. well you know I've been getting by just fine. So you know you know you know. And I feel so bad for them. I'm like oh my god. So th these men now don't know if you were underpaid. You know they ain't saved much. So this is no big company, right? So they like your service package gonna be something huge. It won't gonna be none of that. So these men been here forever. They thinking they gonna retire. So that's why I tell you about mm, putting all your trust in these jobs because you think you gonna retire at these places. I'm gonna stay long enough and then I'm gonna retire. You don't know what's gonna happen from one day to the next. You don't even know if you are gonna make it to retirement. You don't know that. You don't know if right before your retirement, mm, well, they'll find a reason to let you go. Okay. Now you've been fired. You don't know what's going to happen. In this particular situation, the place closed down on these guys. I had already found me somewhere to be. And I knew it was coming. And I was glad that now I didn't have that pressure on me to be worried about, oh, I done got to the house and now I have no job. Now I got to look for a job. Now I'm missing checks. I got weeks of checks missing. So you have to worry about that. And it wasn't two weeks later, it maybe three, my friend calls me and says, Deetra, guess what? And I'm like, what? She said, girl, they done shut this place down. And I could hear it in her voice. She was so much in distress. I was like, oh my goodness, I told you. She's like, I don't know what's about to happen now. I don't even know what's gonna happen. I said what she said, well, they gave us, you know, tried to give us severance package or whatever. I said, well, that's good. She said, I, I'm telling you, it ain't gonna last long. It's not gonna last long at all. Why would they not tell us? I said, when did they tell you? She said, Monday we came to work. They told us that the building would be getting ready to shut down within the next couple of days. Wednesday when we came to work, they told us halfway in the ship, you know, I'm like, get on up out of here. See, that's my whole point in case right there. It's okay if that's what you want to do with your life. And you want to spend all the rest of your days putting all of your dreams and all of your future, you want to have it all locked down and it all depends on the job if that's what you want to do. I don't have a problem with that. Because like I said, if push come to shove and I have to, I will. I'm just not planning on staying but a minute. But you guys know that when you're doing something for yourself, you don't have to worry about that. Insurance, get your own insurance. You need money for retirement? <laughs> you start stacking your money, right? You ain't got to worry about that. You're going to have that anyway. These jobs are not loyal. You are loyal. So what you need to do is start being loyal to yourself. Like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. You know I'm going to be bringing you something back later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.